Howdy! Welcome to another video, Make It Song Bringer. I'm working on the jib stash item today. Actually, jib stash has always been like there were several like animations that were not complete for the jib stash. So I'm going back and I'm filling in those animations that weren't done before and um, making it so the jib stash item is really complete and quality item. Before, there were things like this um, this animation here where he uses his shield, for example, didn't have any jib stash at all. So whenever jib would do this animation and you did have the jib stash, he would suddenly turn into back his old self real quick before he did this. So, um, so this is just making it so that Chip stash item is more quality, more complete, and all that. So, as always, when I'm doing pixel art, sometimes there's really not much to talk about. <clears throat> but if anybody starts chatting here, I'll chat away. Get these at the right latitude. Okay, right. Okay, they get right like about like that. This is gonna be about yeah. No wait. This one. Right. Yeah. This one's, yeah. This one. Okay, let's duplicate. This one. Okay, that one. All right, there. He's stashed out. I'm drinking some weird tea today. I've never tried this before. Uh, I'm living in Thailand right now and just trying to do weird shit every day. Today, I went and just rode to this new mall called the Central Festival Mall and tried to watch Jumanji, but it was, the, it was apparently all booked up by some students and it was the last showing, so I missed it. Oh well. But at least I, I rode, man. I rode out there on my bike. Freaking scared as shit, man. I hate the, oh, my fears, man. My fears, I, it's, I'm scared to drive on the left side of the road because I'm from America. I'm just talking. Um, but yeah, so I'm drinking this thing called Bird's Nest Tea. I have no idea what this is, but it's something else new I'm trying. Just trying to push myself push myself past my fears and insecurities and all that. It's kind of nasty. It's got like all these tendrils in it. It's like, it tastes sugary too. Like too sugary. It's one of those things I, I don't know if I really want to finish. Okay, so we get the jib, jib, um, what was that, what's that animation called? I guess not. Jib shield, shield stash. Render that. Render it and touch the sprite sheets. Thank you. Okay, so there. We got the shield stash animation. Let's make sure it's hooked up in jib's data. Shield stash. Okay, now we just gotta get him to trigger his shield. Use the shield item to start with. There we go. Okay. 
We need to be somewhere with some enemies. Done. Oh, blah, 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 blah. All right, so we got to get him to hit an enemy there. There we go, good. Slow down time a little bit, see that again. Boom. Oh, that was just his hurt. Come on, Jib, get it. Use your shield, there you go, boom. Oh, you get, oh. Oh, Jib. Come on, use your shield. I wanna see you use your shield, Jib. Do it, yeah, there you go. Nice job, buddy. Cool. He's playing it. I could tell because he had a mustache. All right. Um, there's only a few left here. Flicker, flash, connect, disconnect. Let's do the connect animations. Those are pretty easy. Or wait, I mean, yeah, this should be pretty easy. Kind of like, oh, a lot like uh, the one we just closed. Shield. One of them frames. This one, no. This one. Shield, connect. Um, we might as well throw this on to connected. And Disconnect. So we're probably gonna need that. Disconnect. There we go. This is all. This only happens when you're at uh, the refills, the courage refills. Do do do. What are you doing down there, Stash? Must be up here. Okay, you need to be behind. Or no, in front and behind. Shazzle. Layer via cut. Throw it behind. Boom! Okay, so he's got. What? Oh. Boom! Okay, so both of these. Wait, 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 wait. Nope. Nope. We need, we need uh, command click. There. Okay. So here it needs to go down a pixel. There, it's right there. Here, yes, it's starting to connect. Yeah, good job, Chip. Good job connecting. Okay, I think, um, actually this, can, we can touch this up just a little bit, like, I'm thinking, whoops. Hello, XYE dabs. Dabs. Is that the kind of dabs I'm thinking of? But if I push it, the pixels like that. Yeah, no, nope. We're just gonna leave it. It's probably inaccurate that his mustache is kind of coming out of this angle, but it kind of works. If we just move this one though, back a pixel, I think that's what will look best there. There we go, but not like like that, kind of. Yeah, like that. I'm making a new skin for this character. This is a character in the video game called Songbringer. This character's name is Jib. He's a little flying robot. He helps you out. Helps out Rock, the main character. <clears throat> okay, um, good, we got that animation. Finish. Let's export that. 
Jib Connect stash. Let's get that hooked up in the data. Let's hook all these up first. Connect stash, connected stash, disconnect stash. We're going to need to be somewhere that we can use the refill. I don't know where that is yet, so we'll just do that. So we need to do connected and can and disconnect, and then we can test this out. Okay, so I copied that, but I don't need it because we want to use both of these. Uh, yes. Okay, connected stash. Copy to those there and copy this to disconnect stash. Disconnect is just connected in reverse pretty much. All right, so this one goes on top. Well, not quite on top. This one goes on the bottom. Both of them want to be visible. There we go. All right, now they're a little bit off. These go up. Looks like all these need to go up. Pixel. And what? There. Cool. There you go, Jimmy. Oh. Let's see that again. Yeah, Jimmy. Connected. Bam! Another animation done. Let's export that. The next one disconnected. Streamlabs? What's that? I'm already using Streamlabs. Da -da -da -da. Little, 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 Okay, yep, 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 yep. Export that. Okay, now we're ready to roll. We just need to go warp to one of these spots. Oh, should I take another sip of this stuff or what? Bird's nest, it's called a lychee drink? What's a lychee drink? It says it has lots of collagen, L-glutatio, and L-carnitine. What's L glutatio? It's not glutamine. Ugh. I'm never buying this again. Okay. Let's warp to um any one of these will do. Let's warp to this one, because this one I never warp to. Except for to right now. What? Wait a minute. 
Oh yeah, that's supposed to be that way. Cool, we're here. Let's save it. We're here! What should we have come? Thank you, travel man. Alright, am I at full health? I'm at full health, damn it. Okay, I want to save here. I hurt myself a bit. Reload. Yeah. Hurt myself a little bit. There we go. Now we can do this. We'll t oh. Slow down time a bit. Watch Jib's animation. Jib, make sure you connect and disconnect just right. Yeah, he's got the go. Oh, he's still, he's got a mustache still. Right on, Jib. Good job, Jib. Your mustache did not fall off. While you're doing this thing. So make sure he disconnects as well. Another one done. Sweet. Um, what's the next one? Disconnected. Done. Connected. Done. Connect. Done. All right. We got the dying animations, flickering, and all that. Let's do the die. This is a lot like his hurt animation. Let's get that hurt animation opened up again. Stash. So he's got he's got his regular stash here during the die, maybe. Yes. Turn that on. What? Now we need to copy these other two frames from the hurt. Because I'm lazy. I don't want to draw them again. Duplicate. 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 And close hurt without saving any changes. Die stash. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? that now die stash this happens in one specific spot if anybody's watching this on YouTube or you're watching there lurking on this stream and you care about spoilers you should pretty much just not watch for the next two minutes because there's gonna be a big spoiler here spoiler alert Stash. Dying. Dying uses shield? What? Oh, yeah. Die, though. Uses its own animation. Alright, there we go. I feel like obligated to drink all of this. It's so nasty. There's got to be some like health benefit to this, right? Why would it, why else would people drink this? I mean, it's 
The name of the company is Be Well, right? It's got to be good for you. Oh, we are already... We need uh, the ship to fall off. Diddle, 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 diddle. Spoiler alert! Cool. Yes, okay, he's doing his shield animation. He's spinning around. He's still got a stash. And then... And then... There. Okay, so there he goes. But he's gonna have another animation coming up here where he won't... He's gonna flicker out. There you go, yeah. And there he lost his stash. Because we need to do this next animation. We're probably gonna need that copied onto Flash and Flicker. Duplicate. Duplicate. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I hear you, man. You need motivation to build your game. How can I help you? Oh, there you go. So watching people makes video games helps you get motivated. Great. Glad I can help. Maybe his mustache, this is kind of like where he's flickering and fading out. Maybe his mustache will be partially transparent there. Check it out, the doctors decided to show up. What's up, doc? Okay, this is super easy animation. Uh, and then flicker, flicker and what? These are like, what is the difference? Flash and flicker? I'm not sure. We'll find out though. I can guarantee that. All right, so I think let's keep going with this whole mustache partially transparent thing. Oh yeah, especially when he's like that flickery dee dee. He's so flicker dee dee. We're like talking like 20% flicker there. Okay. Oh no, what am I doing? Save. Build that. Okay. So let's hook these animations up. Flicker. Flicker stash. Maybe I'm not even using flash. Because it looks like all of the animations are hooked up. Yeah, flash. I guess I didn't use flash, huh? Flash and flick. No, there's no flash. Is it somewhere manually? Oh, there's the S jib uses flash. Oh, is that? Huh. Yes, I agree, man. I heard um, A Sprite is really great. I haven't tried Pixel Edit or A Sprite myself because I'm already so used to Photoshop. But I've heard they're both great, and in fact, I've heard from people that switched from Photoshop to a sprite in particular and they said they have much better productivity they can make pixel art better with a sprite than they can with Photoshop so it might be worth the switch but um, I'm at least gonna wait till the next video game for that so we got uh, 
SJ abuses Flash, but does he? But does he really? Let's find out. When does Flash? When do? Does the story ever call Flash? Let's find out. Oh, yep, there, right there, trip 1A, so SGF0, Flash, okay. SGF, okay, so he does need the Flash animation, but we don't need the Flash for the stash. Because <laughs> this is a past moment. And in the past, you wouldn't have had the stash anyway. So let's go ahead and close the Flash stash. And we can even delete the flash dash. Or first I'll just move it to the desktop in case I change my mind. Shadow jib flash stash desktop and remove the raw sheets shadow jib jib flash stash. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's somewhat accurate. Okay. So, okay, we don't need that. Let's just test it at work though, still. So we need to go to, well, first we'll make sure that this flash flicker thing works. Spoiler alert. Oh, Shazzle. It's not gonna work with him there and covered up by the wall. What the? What the heck is going on? Super weird. All right, cool. His animations still appear to be fine. Uh, yeah, my publisher handles all that kind of stuff, so it's um, it's incredibly difficult to uh, develop a game for not only Steam but for consoles as well. It's incredible. Well, it's not. Well, yeah, it is difficult, but it's also incredibly time-consuming. Testing the game on all those platforms, going through the approval process on all those platforms, it's a shitload of work, man. Um, I am glad I have a publisher that helps me do that. I'm super lucky. Sweet, man. What can I do to help you get to where you want to be? Okay, that worked. His flicker animation worked. Let's go check that flash animation and that old scene. That should have, it's an old thing. So we need to be at uh, seven, three, no, seven, four, zero. Make sure we haven't done trip one or trip one A and run it. Make sure Jib's alive. Oh God, I'm so glad I'm almost finished with this bird's nest drink. I feel like a strange compulsion to finish it. All right, man, you got it. I'll keep streaming. 
for your information, I have uh, hundreds of videos recorded of all my streams, all the way back from the very first day I made Songbringer. Um, so yeah, you can check that out on my YouTube. There's a link in my Twitch profile there to my YouTube. It's got all, there's over 600 videos making Songbringer. They're all kind of like this. Okay, so he flashes at some point. Did he flash already? Oh no, he flashes here in a sec. Right, good. You should not have a mustache here. At all. Good. Where does he flash at? Oh, he flashed at the beginning. I think I missed him flashing. So yeah, if you need more motivation for making your game or how to start, you know what I mean? I find a lot of people have, um, you know, either motivational issues or just like, where do I start? You know, like you wonder, like, what should I do first? Um, yeah, I started from the very, very beginning filming videos for Songbringer. So you can see the whole game being made there on YouTube. Well, not the whole game, but about two hours a day of making the game. So. I do work, you know, regular days. I work full time on this, but I only stream for an hour or two a day, so or videos an hour or two a day. So there's a lot of other time. It's not been recorded, but you get the picture, you know. You kind of get an overview. Let's see that again. This time we want to pay attention for that flash at the beginning. I think he flashes right there. Let's the start of this. But that's the last animation, I think. Yeah, there it is. He just flashes. Okay, that was easy. All right. Um, flicker stash done. Die stash done. Idle stash done. Done. Idle North stash done. Okay, the last thing is this. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, even gonna put the mustache on him right here. What's up, Nettle Flap? How's it going? I haven't been here for a while. Did you happen to change your name? I don't happen to. I usually remember people's names, but I don't remember Nettle Flap. Is this a new account for you? Do I know you as some other name? Did you learn Procreate when you were five or six? No. I did learn when I was 15, though. I learned the C-based language. This is, this is back when it was Windows 3.1. This is before Windows 95. Oh, Dino. Okay, cool, man. What's up? How was the release? It was, it went well, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Um. I had expectations though. You know, I had I expected like, oh, Songbringer's a good game. It deserves to make about this many sales. And it didn't make that many sales, but it did sell enough for me to make the next video game, which is all I ever could have wanted. So I'm I'm happy with it. We're in a pretty tough time right now for video games, to tell you the truth. Um the industry has been through this before in the past, in the uh, late 70s, early 80s, and um, and uh, yeah. So, but basically, what's happening right now? There was no internet. You're right. This was right, right as the internet was starting, actually, 1994, 95. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, the. The industry is basically at the point right now where there are so many games being released that um, it's it's literally like the ramp of new players goes up steadily, right? So like three or four years ago, there was 1x players. Right now, there's like 1.1x players, right? So if there were 10,000 players before, there's now like 11,000 players. And that's, of course, in like millions or whatever. But, um, but then games... 
games on Steam have gone from like a couple hundred games on Steam a few years ago to like thousands. We're talking 10x the video games. So there's huge supply, not very much demand. It makes it incredibly difficult for any video game to succeed right now. So game makers beware, that's what I say. You gotta have a kick-ass video game to actually make it make money these days. You're building your slowly good, man. After work, good, 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 good. I really encourage that, like, um, to not, you know, not don't spend, don't spend your savings on making a video game. You know what I mean? If you have or your credit cards, don't spend your credit cards. I've done that before. My last video game is called Hero Bash. I, I worked on it a year, no, two years, and the game made like so little money. Like it made like $20 a month or something like that for about six months, and then it died off. Stopped even making $20 a month. And I spent over $18,000 of my own money in credit cards. So I racked up this huge credit card debt making that video game. One of the worst things I ever did. But it did teach me a really good lesson not to fucking do that again. <laughs> What's up, Zero? Uh, this is actually the afternoon for me. I'm currently residing in Thailand because it's so much cheaper than my home country. Oh, no worries, man. No worries. Don't be ashamed. That's exactly my point, though. That's exactly my point. There are so many video games today, it's so easy to forget about. Even, even games you might consider good. Like, you might love certain video games, but you have 10 other video games you also love. And people, have, like, players have so many games these days, like, in their library, they haven't even played. It was, yes, it was an iOS game, not an Android game, but yeah. Yeah, we sold, like... It was a free-to-play game, first of all. So we had very low downloads, um, and then and it was like you had to buy skins or whatever for us to make money, and very very few people ever bought skins. So it just was a complete financial failure. But that taught me some huge lessons too. Like, first of all, if you're an indie game maker, you need to market from day one. And so I learned my lesson, and in Songbringer, I started marketing day one. I started doing these videos every day. Yes, I used to be in the Bay Area. That's true. Yes. For the last three years, I was in the Bay Area, living there, making a song bringer. Uh, but I've gone through some huge life changes. And now I'm here in Thailand. Yeah, right? Yeah, totally. Humble Bundle too, right? You might get like, right? five to 20 different games per bundle and for really cheap too. Yeah, and that too, right? So many games you, maybe you started them but you don't even finish them. This is the, uh, this is the dilemma of today. The modern, the modern game development scene and the modern gamer is, is just like that. This huge influx of video games. Okay, so let's get this. So he's got a stash. Ay, ay, ay. It's taking me so long. <laughs> a hangover like experience? No. It was a much sadder story than that. I won't ruin your day with it. Like it could have been a lot sadder. So there's that as a positive note. I know there's so much content on the internet, right? YouTube videos. Shoot, you could just watch GIFs all day and have a good time. It is. There's, it's so hard to find the good ones of anything. Any kind of good content. It's like, how do you find it? 
All right, check that out. Jib operations stash. All right, let's export that. And this means that the ending scene can have jib with a mustache too. So this belongs in sheets. Where the hell does this belong? Memes all day, every day. All day, every day. I think this belongs in raw. Raw sheets shadow jib operation? No? No. No shadow? Jib operation? Yep, there we go. Okay. So that belongs in no shadow, eh? Jib operation stash zero. Okay. There we go. Let's hook this up. So the ending, we're gonna need to do another animation too for this to be complete. But jib operation, where does it put that? It's in entities jib dead two. Jib dead two. Hmm. Asset flip. Is that their like their asset store thing? Okay, so Jib Dead 2, I think that's just an, a miscellaneous tile. Right, 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 right. Okay, so name is Smith Worker 2. Oh, oh, this is, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Jib Dead 2. There's Jib Dead and then there's Jib Dead 2. Jib Dead 2 is this one. And if, okay, we need to create an entity for that. What the? Int F. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, they're, they're asset store type thing. If the player has the jib stash here. So hero.gear.count k item jib stash greater than zero. Then we're gonna switch I guess we can just set an animation. Yeah, idle, idle stash. This would be jib operation stash zero. Yep, okay. All right, so we go f dot render dot skin equals stash. Okay, one more thing to prep before we test this. Open raw sprites, backgrounds, jib something? Jib, that's not jib off. I don't think it's jib off. That's something I never used. Do I have a day job? No, this is my job. Um, I am funded by a publisher, but before that I was funded by Kickstarter. Before that I was funded by my own daring, you could say. So I spent my first four months just doing some web work 
in the nighttime actually somehow I was able to actually just barely do some web design web pages and work like that in the evenings and then um, make a prototype for Songbringer. I had no idea. This is the lesson I learned from Hero Bash. My last video game was, okay, I need to verify that people are going to want to buy this video game before I spend years creating it, right? So that's what I, that's why I was like, Kickstarter is the way to go. Kickstarter will validate whether my video game idea is worth making, right? I don't want to go spend another few years of my life and have a game fail again. That's a horrible feeling and it's a huge waste of time and money if you don't have the money. So Kickstarter is a kick-ass thing for me because first of all, it can validate whether people want something ahead of time and secondly, it could give you the funds you need to actually make it. So it's a win, win deal, right? If you can succeed at the Kickstarter. And if you don't succeed at the Kickstarter, it's still a great thing because you have verified whether you just saved yourself years of your life, basically. That's the way I look at it. So um, I created that prototype while working sort of, it was sort of like my, you know what I mean? I kept my day job, you could say. And, um, and thankfully the Kickstarter succeeded. Um, I think one of the big reasons it did succeed is because I was doing all these live streams and I was posting lots on Twitter. I was building up a following, you know what I mean? I was doing the marketing uh, every day. I was doing these videos, sharing to Twitter, sharing on Facebook, sharing in other places on forums and stuff like that. So I was building up a little bit of a following more and more every day. And that's what I think made the Kickstarter succeed. Thankfully, the Kickstarter succeeded. And, um, and then that's what also, the, the, because the Kickstarter succeeded, that's what attracted the publisher. The publisher's like, well, this game kind of already has a successful following and people are willing to invest in it right now. Why wouldn't we invest in it too? And so that's basically what gave me the publisher and gave me this great relationship. One of the best things that's ever happened to me is this relationship I have with Double Eleven. They're an amazing publisher. I'm thankful for them every day. They're amazing. They're so awesome. And so yeah, they're they're funding. Um, they're continuously, you know, funding this game's development, even though it's already past release. Um, we're working on this big update. So there's all this new content coming, um, and it's going to be released on on the PlayStation version and the Xbox version as well. And um, and even after that, I'll be working on the iOS version for Songbringer. Um, because that was promised during the Kickstarter. Uh, so yeah, I do not have a day job. <laughs> That's a long answer to your question there. I'm sorry. Sorry for that, but I hope it, I hope it's some motivation maybe. Uh, okay. I'm looking for a certain file. What the hell is the name of that file? This is the story of my life here. It's like, what's the name of that file? It's, this should be a should be a like a game show, a, a trivia game show. Like, where is this file? It's gonna be in Sprite's backgrounds, I think. Jib, is it Jib? It's none of those. So, oh, scene. Here we go. It's not. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's give Jib a stash here. <laughs> really? Are we really doing this? Am I really giving Jib a stash right here? Why not? Let's do it. Pourquoi pas? Okay, yeah, this would go on top of this. So we'll create a new layer, start drawing. <laughs> oh yeah. 
right? This is a pretty hidden item anyways. Not everybody's gonna find this. Oh man, this is funny. Let's put some highlights on it. Um, looks like the, where's the light coming from here? Straight from the top. So that would mean we would either have a highlight on the top pixel here or the bottom pixel, probably the top pixel. I know it totally is X Y E. It can be, it can be. It's not always, but yeah. Sweet, I love this isometric style. Nice artwork. What's the uh? What's it like? What's it like to play it? What kind of game is it? Is it like adventure or something? Oh, a Western RPG like Fallout? Oh, cool. Right on. I get the feeling you're on a spaceship this whole time, but are you like in some um, barracks or some underground place or something? Jim has a mustache right here. Oh, planet and space. Cool, man. Nice. What's the uh what's the premise? Like what's you guys uh hook me, my friend, hook me. Okay, um let's draw some shadows. Yeah. Yeah. So make this one sixty eight per cent as well. Draw some black shadow here. I'm just drawing this manually. Something like, like it's going to start shadowing right there ish. Uh, that's too much. Way too much. Too much shadow. There's no RNG, huh? Oh, it's an RPG? So I was thinking a shadow would look nice from this, but it doesn't yet.
maybe it would look better if it were less opaque. Still looks bad. Ah, ah, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Get rid of that. Okay, there. There's Jib with his stash during this shadow you seen. Save this out. Actually, what is what's what is taking so long? Stash. All right, scene Jib. So let's make sure that we're not overflowing this sprite sheet. This is scene. What scene is this again? Scene Jib, I think. Falling Empire, you're an old pilot living outcast. Whoa. Oh, cool. Emergent gameplay. Nice. Um, what kind? Sheets. Um, scene jib. Yeah, it is scene jib. Okay, this is probably going to fit just fine, but let's check. I'm going to open up raw sheets scene jib dot TPS. Make sure there's enough room to export one more of these. Oh wow. This is oh, this might not fit. It looks like it well, it looks like it would overflow. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. Oh, I guess I would need to do a Mustache right there as well. Oh, cool. NPCs traveling around. Morale. Ah, oh. neat. That's really neat. It sounds challenging. It sounds challenging to implement, you know, get right. That sounds really fun actually to implement. Nice, man. I wish you good luck. Scene jib. Stash zero. Let's see how that changed. Made it taller. Okay, it's 2048 now. Before it was 1500. That's all right. It hasn't like overflown any sort of size limits. Okay, we are going to need to open up. Seen Jib dead. Put a mustache there too. Okay, but he's alive. Wait, do we save the? We gotta save the Smith. So once again, this is gonna be spoiler alerts. Yeah, I'm working on Songbringer right now. I'm adding. I'm actually just increasing the quality level for this skin you've always had. You've always been able to find this item called the Jib Stash, and it gives Jib a mustache, and. Um, it didn't quite have all the animations finished. I kind of like just did the most important ones, but now I'm going back and doing all of them. So he's like, oh, every one of his animations has a, a mustache if you have this item. Sweet XYE, that's cool. It's a neat idea.
Okay, so I'm going to go show the end game. We need to have the droid smith level four or five, maybe? I think it's five, actually. Jib zero. Jib dead. Okay. And we can skip to the ending. Or skip to the outro? No, skip to the outro. Okay. So, spoiler alert. I'm drinking more lychee. No, really, spoiler alert. Showing, showing stuff in Songbringer that you probably don't want to see if you're going to play this game. I can't see him. Oh no, there he is. He's got a mustache there. Nice, that worked. I wonder if he, it worked there though for that end scene. Jim Dead, Jim Dead 2? Is that what that one is? Okay, let's see if the stash worked. Oh, I didn't even hook it up for this scene. Okay, there's Jib Dead, Jib Dead 2, and Jib Dead 3. It's for my Jib Die 6. Oh, both of these I need. need uh, Stash, drop stash. Okay, so we can hook up an Ian here. What's up, bear on fire? You finished Songbringer yesterday? Cool. Dude, I am humbled and honored that you finished Songbringer. Yeah, right? That's the That was the point, for sure. Uh, Songbringer is heavily inspired by the very first Zelda. The original Legend of Zelda. Uh huh. Yeah, I think you're gonna have. Uh, did you know that there is an update coming out with? Uh, there's a new charged attack. So this was a common, um, a common complaint that people gave was that. The sword became boring. But yeah, there's now a charged attack. So um, this is coming out very soon, well, relatively soon, um, in a major update. So it's introducing a lot of new content. One of the things is a charged attack. So you, oh, I'll show you actually. You can charge up your sword. And also you can parry. So you got, you got basically, it makes fighting with the sword a lot more interesting. Yeah, that's because bosses have all have explosive resistance so that you can't cheese them with bombs. Um, that was something before, like before a, a long time ago, like two years ago when I was first making everything. The bombs were all really powerful against bosses and it made it so you could super easily cheese all the bosses just by using bombs. And so, um, yeah, I had to add explosive resistance for all the, all the bosses. So now there's this charge attack. You can charge up your sword, you can walk around with a charge. When you let it go, you release a pretty powerful 
charged attack. And you can also use that charge for a parry. So you can charge it up and let it go and like destroy enemies. Or you can charge it up and hold it and use it to parry. Why didn't it parry? Oh, I don't have parry. Parry. Am I satisfied with the sales on Steam? Ah, this is a, a loaded question. Um, I expected more. I thought my game was worth more, but it turned out to be an important lesson that expectations are all just traps. I am being honest. Yeah, so no, I expected more, but um yeah, I wish I wish Sunbring had made more, but to be quite honest, I am thankful for what it did. Um, it could have made less. I could have not even had enough to make the next video game, but this is enough for me to make the next video game. You know, I'm not I'm not living my dreams or anything. But I am able to make the next video game, which is awesome. Okay, so back to what I was doing here. So we got that. This. Scene jib. Yeah, so as far as more content, there's uh, it's coming out here in this free update. Uh, there's more content. There's a new boss. There's plenty of new enemies. There's new enemy patterns. There's a new item which helps you find 100% items called the ferret drones. There's a new item called the shirt, which is uh, armor that you can get. Um, there's a new skin for Vel. She gets jewelry. Um, there's the charged attack, there's the parry ability. There's a fucking ton of new stuff in this update. Yeah, it's a good point, XYE. It's a good point. It's true, right? When you do the math, when you do the math, selling a game at a higher price can help you get to your goals faster as far as what your goals are. All right, so let's get the E there. If we have the jib stash, then both of these should have the skin. So we're applying the skin stash to this dead jib here. This is corny joy smith. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Kind of need a different world C to test this out again. And then also we need this to apply in the ending scene too. Well, there's another thing too. There's a lot of, uh, every single one of the bosses has a special ability in the new update. Um, if you have this new item called the ring, 
So for example, the wall boss, for example, has this new laser attack. But this is only if you have this new item and this is uh, in the update coming out pretty soon. Okay, so we're looking for jib. It's just scene jib. I think there's scene jib. Where the heck is that? There it is, scene jib, scene jib, there it is. Okay, so string key equals if the, does this have the hero? If we have the jib stash, this is a jib stash, otherwise jib. Oh, last drink. Do I want to do this? Ugh. Worst drink I ever bought. And drank all of. <laughs> really? It's only eight bucks? Crazy. Okay, let's see if all that worked. Oh, we gotta go to the outro. So, outro. Skip to the outro. So if you're just tuning in, what I'm doing right now is uh, making the skin for, whoops, making the skin for Jib a lot more complete. So all of the animations for Jib have the mustache. So if you have the item called the Jib stash, his mustache is just so much better, like so much more complete. Yeah, I can see his stash there on the ground. That's good. There's one more little test I want to do there. He should have a stash here. Good, he's got a mustache. Spoiler alert. By the way, this whole, this whole thing is a spoiler alert. Should have a stash here as well. Nice. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Cool. Okay, now if I don't have the stash, see the end outro again.
That's a cool idea, Bear on Fire. But, uh, unfortunately, that's <laughs> so much work. It was already a shit ton of work just to do the five different elements for every one of the weapons in the game. To make it five times five, there would be 25 different combinations for every weapon. Every weapon having, making rocks animations like, dude, every one of, every one of rocks attacks basically is like a 20 frame thing times four different directions he has to move in and all that kind of stuff. This is basically a lot of work. Too much work. Yeah, there's five. There's five. There's fire, ice, lightning, acid, and fear. And they're all mixed up in every different world seed. They're in different places. Fear. Fear is the last one. Yeah, fear. Okay, we're down to the last animation. This one. Okay, bonus. Jib has a stash for this ending as well. Let's get that saved as like seen Jib dead stash. This is death or something? Yeah, this is one of the endings. I don't want to give it away. How much sales were I ex was I expecting? I was kind of expecting it would do as well as some other games um, that have you know come before it recently, but it doesn't even compare. Even two years, you can't even expect it to make that much. Like I was expecting it would make at least like fifty thousand sales. The first few months, even like in the first six months or so. Piece of mustache on the floor. A 
Okay, this, it rearranged it, but this is okay. This is 13 by eight, all right, that's fine. Let's close that. Rebuild there. Um, we need not have saved the droid smith. Yes, I do have ideas for the next game. Um, I don't know what, I'm kind of like torn a little bit, you know, part of me wants to do Songbringer 2 and do like an, another Zelda e-game. Yeah, that's why I was, I was hoping for that. I was hoping for that. Um, but I, I don't know, I, I like Songbringer is pretty, it's already a, a, a Zelda game. I'm actually kind of interested in maybe doing something totally else, like either a platformer or a multiplayer game or something like that. I'm not sure exactly. I do have ideas. They're all just kind of floating around at this point because I still got months left before Songbringer is really finished. Like this update is almost finished, but then there's also the... Um, soundtrack and the ios version to finish so that'll be i'll be working on this through april or may even you know so by june i'll probably be starting the next game which will be exciting i don't know what I'll, what it will end up being exactly but i'm excited about it is that is that jib dead zero that's a jib dead one okay so jib dead one if you have the stash, is something else. Oh, did I name that right? Let's find out. Zelda Battle Royale. Yeah, so that's what my last game was actually. Hero Bash was a MOBA. Porting it to Switch has been requested so much. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Oh, I lost my place. Where was that? Um, yeah, there it is. Chip dead. Into this, where did I? Where the hell did I save that at? Oh, this is the okay. This is I need another. I need another folder window here. Sheets. Scene jib. Jib dead one. Jib dead stash one. Okay, I did name it the right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Really. True. True, true. If a Switch version happens, I will be quite stoked. I think that would be super awesome. It's not my decision though, because that costs a lot of money. It costs, like to put a game on any one of those platforms, like to put a game, for example, on Xbox or PlayStation or Nintendo Switch, you're looking at twenty to thirty thousand dollars minimum. Minimum. We're talking about dev costs, Q and A costs, approval costs, platform licensing costs, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't have the time to do that myself. Thankfully, I have an awesome publisher, though, that does all that. So we got scene jib dead one, scene jib dead one, scene jib dead stash one. Okay, that looks right. Okay, let's test this out. This time, this is the alternate ending. We have the right items for that, so we're testing it with the stash first. Right, yeah, the publisher does need that stuff.
Okay, let's test this out. Who's that guy? Oh, I thought you would have picked that up from uh, from playing the game. Uh, his name is Zero. He's a character that appears. He's the same guy that appears in the the Swordless Dungeon, and he's the same guy that you followed that one time. He's the mysterious character that guides you and teaches you and stuff. Got a mustache. Confirmed. Okay, let's see it without the jib stash. Oh, who he really is? To tell you the truth, well, should I tell you the truth? Do you really want to know the truth? Yeah, but the, the dev tools might be free, but the cost of developing for the platform is not. Neither is the Q&A and all that kind of stuff. The truth is, I don't know. I purposely de designed this character Zero to be ambiguous. I don't know who Zero is. Well, it's done now. That's not true. I do know who Zero is. There's a hint. There's a hint who Zero is. In the game, there's a cave in, in Songbringer where you can go into it and it tells you about... <laughs> That's exactly what I was expecting. No, yeah, for the most part, I don't really have anything set who Zero is. Because I'm leaving that open for the next video game. You know, I want... Zero is kind of a central character. Know, but he has a past. He, I know he definitely has some interesting stuff that happened to him in the past because you know he's always like, oh, you're, he's always saying stuff like, you were born with the promise and all that kind of stuff. Okay, there's one last thing I need to check, and that's when you drop Jib. You got the Droid Smith. Let's go to the ship. Beat the boss on the ship. Once again, this is a spoiler alert. You have the jib stash. Zilton! What's up, man? How you doing? So the sequel would be a prequel. Possibly. Possibly. Oops. Okay, we gotta turn off this whole skip the outro. Skip to the outro, my loo. Skip to the loo, my darling. What the heck just happened? That was weird. What was the point of changing Jib to Bell? You mean you didn't like Bell? She's a trade-off, man. She has attack power, Jib has scanning, scanning and stuff like that. You've hit a dead end with your games? What's up, man? What's your dead end? Jib. Got him. See if when we drop him on the ground, he has a mustache. No, it didn't work. Wait, did it? It didn't work. Okay. Alright, something happened there. So he drops a... 
Where does he drop the jib? Uh, sorry, I'm not allowed to discuss that kind of stuff. Uh, she's not useless in the plot. And uh, you can choose her from the start with World Seed Vel. Okay, so where does he drop Jim? Oh, I think it's actually part of this. That's a story element. Jib dead? Is Jib dead? Jib dead? Jib dead? Smith drop. There it is. Anime rock. Spawn Jib dead. One drop in. Okay, I guess you need to go skin Jib dead stat. Oh, Shazzle. Oh, this needs to be special. So when we spawn, if we spawn Jib dead, we need to do something special for him. Oh, there. Yeah, set his anchor. We already do some special stuff. Okay, so if the player has the stash, then we just need to apply the skin here when we create Jib Dead. Okay, do we have the hero in this function? Um, yes, we do already. Nice. If hero dot gear dot count, okay, Adam, jib stash is greater than zero. E dot render dot skin equals stash. Yeah, nice talking to you too. Yep, updates coming out relatively soon. It's gonna be a synchronous release though, so um, it's it's already available on the Steam beta. If you want to play it right now, you can. All you gotta do is switch to the beta version on Steam. Otherwise, you can wait for it to officially come out. Um, but then uh, it's gonna be a synchronous release. So basically, the console versions have to be finished before. Um, before that's all going to get released on Steam as well. So Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox will all get updated at the same time. Jib dead to Droid Smith. Three or four, doesn't matter, I guess. Um, ten, go to a lot of things to back up to try this again. There, nice. He has a mustache. Boom. Okay, let's see that again. This time with the Droid Smith in tow. Nice. Okay, cool. All right. 
There you go. That's all. That's all the animations. Even both of the alternate endings. Jib has a mustache if you have the jib stash item. So that item is now just like way the hell more complete. So that's it. That's it for this stream. Thank you for watching. Thank you for viewing this stream on Twitch or or YouTube, if you happen to watch this on YouTube later. Um, I appreciate you all, and uh, we'll catch you all next stream.